Hello everyone, uh, it's John Mark. I was just editing the weekly news show and I realized that I have a bunch of audio issues. Um, it keeps cutting off. It happened while I was also doing a podcast earlier with Nick and David, which will come out this Friday. But anyway, uh, so yeah, if it looks like it's edited weird and it's cut up and I cut in the middle of a sentence, it's, um, it's because um, the, the, my audio went out. So yeah, please watch this knowing that I tried really hard to edit around my audio issues. Uh, it, it was less and less as it went forward. Um, luckily, during the games to come out this week, it, it was relatively fine. I had one or two hiccups there. Uh, but yeah, so watch and see if you notice when... Welcome to the Gaming News Show. My name is Jean Mark. Went a lot of news this week, but let's talk about what I got. Xbox Series X backwards compatibility explained. Four generations of Xbox in one place. Has Xbox finally nailed down backwards compatibility? Phil Spencer says our commitment to compatibility means existing Xbox One games, including backwards compatible 360 games and the original Xbox games look and play better than ever before. Your favorite games, including titles of Xbox Game Class, benefits from steadier frame rates, faster load times, improved resolution, and visual fidelity, all with no developer work required. Your Xbox One game accessory also comes forward with you. This is good news. This is something that PlayStation and even Nintendo fans want. And smart that Xbox is doing this, giving fans of the Xbox what they want. If I could play all of my old 360 games on a new Xbox, that would be great. They're kind of finagling it, but it'll be interesting to see how they pull this off, how they kind of group the generations and how they keep things going in the future. But I think this is exciting. I think this is something other brands, like Sony and Nintendo specifically, should do. Is how many times have you bought Mario? How many times have you bought Final Fantasy? There should just be one ecosystem. And how many times have you bought Resident Evil 4, for goodness sakes? It's amazing. It's a great game. And Moving on, two games are going to be fitting into this backwards compatibility mold. Cyberpunk 2077, also Halo Infinite will be free on Xbox Series X if you buy it on Xbox One. Two games, these are great. If you buy them on one, it'll just get them to the other one. Will PlayStation do this? Probably not, but PlayStation 5 did say if you buy it PS4 disc, you should be able to play it on PlayStation 5. We won't know that, but there's a lot of rumors that an announcement's coming out soon. PS5 controller patent suggests DualShock 5 will monitor your sweat and heart rate. Okay. Um, cool. So when I'm playing a PS5 game and I have a heart attack, my wife will look up from the Switch while playing Animal Crossing and go, Oh, are you okay? Because we need to know uh, where your heart rate is at. From Japan. I haven't had a friend in Japan in a while, and this one is very sad news. Konami Code creator Kazahisha Hashimoto dies at age 60. One made the famous <sighs> Konami code. And there was a press release out. We are saddened to hear about the passing deeply talented producer who first introduced the world to the Konami code. Our thoughts are with him and his family. Whew. I've used it. I know many people have used it. It's my second favorite to right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Uh, one of my favorites, which you use on Mortal Kombat 2. It's sad to see these developers that mean so much to people and have done so much pass away. Now it's time for most people's favorite part of the show, games that come out this week. Let's start with the free games you get if you have an Xbox Gold subscription or PlayStation Plus subscription. On Xbox One, you can get 
Batman, The Enemy Within, a complete season. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a Telltale game. And you also get Shantae, the half-genie hero. I'm pretty sure this was free before, but okay. On PlayStation, you'll get Sonic Forces. Shadow of the Colossus, one of the best PlayStation games ever made of all time. I played it on PS4, loved it on PS4. It is such a great game. Uh, PS4 version is a definitive version. I love it. Suggest it to everyone. Please get this game. Now let's start counting down some games. Number one, Hay Fever. Hay Fever is coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Help Thomas, the allergic mailman, gather all his lost letters in this challenging, unique 2D platformer. In Hay Fever, the player takes control of Thomas, a young postman with a strong worth ethic. There's just one little issue. Thomas suffers from terrible, and we mean terrible, allergies. It's a side scroller. Uh, looks like it has a lot of different side scrolly things in it that keep it interesting. I gotta at least put one side scroller in here. Number two, Two Point Hospital. It's coming out for PC, Mac, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Hospital Management Sim, the spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. You're like running a hospital, and you like like SimCity-ish games. There you go. Number three, Mega Man Zero slash ZX Legacy Collection. This is coming out for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC. It's a compilation of the Mega Man Zero and ZX series with bonus features. Did I know these games existed? No, I did not. No one I know that's a fan of Mega Man ever talk about this Zero or ZX games, but hey, they're here, they're ready to be played. So play them, I suppose. Number four, Infliction. Infliction is coming out for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Infliction is an interactive nightmare, a journey into the dark secrets of a fractured home, wandering through a heartbreaking remnants of a once happy family, a malevolent force follows your every footstep, seeking violent retribution. This looks like a first-person horror game that just looks fantastic. Uh, puzzle elements, story elements, I uh, would really love to play this uh, during Halloween, so uh, I hope my wife puts it on the list. Number five, One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. This is coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. A fighting game based on the One Punch Man series. This trailer's great because it just shows One Punch Man punching everyone once. I hope this is the actual full game. Thank you for watching the Gaming News Show. My name is Joe Mark. It's a lecture I want you see. You have all the news now. Do whatever you want with it. Thanks for watching and um, I guess play One Punch Man? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>